Hello students, I welcome you all. You already know about past, present and future tense. Today, we are going to focus upon simple past. Before we begin, why simple past? We use simple past tense when we talk about the events that took place and finished in the past. The simple past form of the verb be, are, was and were. We use was and were in the place of be when we are to make any sentence in simple past. Let's understand by some examples. She was dancing. This has already happened. It is a past event. Children were playing. We use was with he, she, it, I. Which means with singular nouns or pronouns. We use were with you, we, they. Plural nouns or pronouns. You is an exception here since it is singular. Let's look at some more examples. You were eating. It will not be like you was eating. We were singing. I was sleeping. It will not be I was sleeping. He was studying. I hope it is more clear to you now, children. Some verbs which are called regular verbs show past action by adding D or ED at the end. Example, Hirsch saved Karan's life. Meera attended my wedding. If a verb ends in E, you add D. Example, agree, agreed. Escape, escaped. It will show the past action. If a verb ends in a vowel and a consonant, the consonant is usually doubled before ED. Like stop, stopped. Plan, planned. You can see double P and double N. If a verb ends in consonant and Y, you remove the Y and add IED. Try, tried. Carry, carried. But if a word ends in a vowel and Y, you add ED. Play, played. Enjoy, enjoy it. The rules are very very simple children. Had is used to talk about when we have already done. It is used in place of both has and have. Therefore, it can be used with both singular and plural nouns and pronouns. I'll give you more examples. The old man had no witness. He had no pen to write. Seema had a beautiful doll. I hope it is clear to you kids. Keep learning and keep practicing. 